All right, Aries, keep it there, please. It is Mira. It is Shira. <clears throat> Excuse me, you guys. It is Vera. It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am at it again with you guys. We're here for the month of November 2020. Show me the monthly energy with a whole lot of Thanksgiving festivities all up in the mix, Aries. Shout out to all of my babies that have clicked this video, that have liked, shared, and subscribed. Shout out to all my OBs. My OBs. Shout out to all my OGs. Shout out to all my newbies. <laughs> Shout out to all of y'all. If there's anyone who would like to book a personal private reading with me, if these videos resonate at any point in time and you want to show some love and support to, to the page and um, reach out to me for anything, check out the description box in this video or check out the about tab on my YouTube page. It gives my booking information, pricing list, um, how to connect with me on Instagram, how to connect with me by email I only do um, video readings so I typically do video readings on either Instagram messenger um, video messenger or Google Hangouts Google Hangouts is a free easy app to download the only information that we need to exchange with each other is our email so if you don't have Instagram and you still want to book a reading or if you just prefer not to use your Instagram that's not a problem just shoot me an email at scorpionreds at gmail.com and I'll get you all set up on Google Hangouts and we'll take it from there Aries you already know how how the drill is you know how we do over here we always give thanks and praises to the creator before we ask for any type of you know guidance any type of help with anything that we're going through so if you guys would just you know all bow your heads with me let's give father god's acknowledgement and praise father god we thank you so much for bringing us here today collectively for the sign of aries you know we're trying to keep everything in alignment we try to keep everything in alignment in our life we're trying to stay on the correct path father god we just stand blessed and highly favored right now we feel blessed and highly favored right now we feel that we're making the right choices in our life we feel a lot of momentum and passion we feel a lot of sun shining in our life right now we just feel in a high vibrational energy father god and we thank you so much for you just helping us being clairvoyant and being able to see things very clearly so we're not even having to ask you a lot of questions or never you know taking a step you know out of our out of our momentum to be in doubt about anywhere we're going or anything that we're doing father god so i thank you so much for the gift of sight and helping us see clearly now that the rain is gone amen so father god please give us guidance for the sign of aries we want to keep it right there father god thank you so much for all of the blessings and the gifts and the lessons that you've given us in the past present and future please give us guidance for the sign of aries for november 2020 amen all right Let's get into the, let's get into she. Let's see what we got, honey. Let's see what do we mean. What's going on? What's going, going on for November? I know a lot of y'all is just like, I don't know if it's just me. I am so ready for Thanksgiving, honey. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. I do love green eggs and ham. I sure do. Alright, so we're going to take that one. Oh, you know what song is playing in my head? I want you to wait up, love. These sheets don't comfort me. Please wake up, love. I just need you to hold me. Need your affection. I want you to wake up, love. Hear me, baby. Okay, come on. And Yes, God, you said you want someone to wake up, love. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma'am, Miss Pam. We do like green eggs and ham. We need you to wake up. Come on, Aries. Talk to me nicely. Talk to me tenderly now. Okay. Talk to me lovingly. <laughs> Talk to me nicely. Talk to me tenderly. Talk to me lovingly. <laughs> Shoot, I would definitely wake up. You talking to me like that, Papa. Ooh. I'm forgetting. One thing's for certain. Yes. Yes. Look, she said one thing is for certain. She need that brown skin. Come on, Aries, with your little chocolate, little fine and divine ass. Come on, Aries. <laughs> Hello. Listen, I know about them little chocolate, little brown skin jumps. Now, 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 now. I just want to be 
with you. Ooh, I want you to wear it with love. Is she gonna come for me, please? Hey. Yes. Ooh. Hold on, girl. Hold on. Come on, it's always tea time. Listen, when Gary said it's always tea time, okay? It's always time for some tea, time for some action and satisfaction. Listen, did you ring? Hello? Come on. What's the what's the what's the big the big dude from um the Adams family when you bring the thing? He said, hey, did you ring? Yes. I sure did. Okay. Don't make me hit that hotline. Bling Aries, you already know, baby. Yes, Aries, did you look? <laughs> oh my god. Look, look. <laughs> no, like, I'm sorry, I don't mean to just be laughing like that. But I just keep hearing in my head. No, 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 seriously, did you rank? <laughs> like, no, seriously, did you call him for me? Like, what? You want me to wake up? Like, you talking to me? Is you talking to me? Yes, Aries, I'm talking to you. Somebody's talking to you, Aries. Shoot. Someone wants you to wake up. One thing I know about Aries, I, I have never had a bad experience with an Aries in the bedroom. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to keep it 100. Not saying I've been with many, but I've definitely been with at least two. I've had two exes that were Aries. So. like some. I feel like Aries and Scorpio, like, mm -mm. it's like one of those relationships where I can say that me and them are always friends. Like that's one of those relationships where we. Like, when it was good, it was good. And when it wasn't, it wasn't. You know what I'm saying? But we were able to still keep a close friendship. You know what I'm saying? But we can't have our way with each other. You know what I'm saying? Like, my both of my Aries know that that stuff that they that fly with them other chicks, it don't fly with me. All rabbits up. I don't know if rabbits is heads or tails of these cards. I'm seeing hella rabbits. I don't know why I feel like this is a very going to be a masculine heavy reading. Because Alice is placed at the bottom. It's like the rabbit is at the top for whatever reason. And he say drink me. It's like. Ooh, Mm -mm. See, look, rabbits on top again. Drink me. I have never even paid no attention to that before. Drink me. All right. What in the I'm like, I ain't even flipped the cards over, but just let me tell you what I'm feeling. I feel like it's very masculine, dominant, this reading right here. For some reason, I'm trying to tell you, I, I feel like it's very masculine, dominant. I feel like the, um, the feminine energy in whatever this situation may be struggling to be heard. Um, maybe that's why I was getting, I want you to wake up. Because, right here, because I don't know if y'all see these cards on the back. You see how it says, drink me. And you see how Alice really just wants time. You know what I'm saying? So, and I just seen, okay. I just seen, so if you got, if, if it's the tails up, if it's the like heads or tails, boom. Here's the tails, and I seen this. Like, these are a lot of reverse cards, y'all. I just seen this. So I couldn't figure out 
which one was upright and which one these are these are reversals these are a lot of reversals and it's like Alice is Alice just wants time this one wants to be consumed you know what I'm saying so it's like one is saying just give me time and attention and listen to me and this one is saying take what I'm giving you there's a struggle for the feminine to be heard in the situation. Let me just see what the hell's going on here. Bitch, you got the goddamn sloth. But why he's so cute, though? Why is he so fucking cute, but he moves so damn slow? Yeah, I just, I really feel like tall, linky. Don't sloths got them long-ass arms and long-ass limbs or some shit? He is so cute, though. Why he's so cute, though? Ain't he cute? Don't you just want to hug him? But you got to watch out because sloths got them nails, honey. They like, uh-uh. I wouldn't want no sloth to grip me. He might cut this shit out of my stomach or something. Like, I don't know. This little motherfucker got some deep grips in whoever this is, honey. I mean, this sloth, he's cute. Like, he is the cutest little freaky thing. And I feel like he may be long and tall and linky or something like that. And he just got his grips up in somebody real. Like, oh, look at those. Look at them eyes and that nose. Look at, look. Little thin Jim Carrey lips. Look at his little thin lips. <laughs> oh my God, he is cuteness. I'm sorry. Why are you so cute though? You are too dumb cute. Why are you so cute? Let me see. The ace of air in the reverse in the y'all with y'all wrote child cheese. Child cheese. Listen, we hanging around trying to get some clarity. We trying to figure out what the heck is going on over here, right? That's what you're doing, cute stuff. Is that what you're doing, cute stuff? You hanging around trying to get some truth and clarity so you can see things clearly and shit. You just, you know, trying to see the bigger picture. I feel you cuteness. Look, you, you're like, I don't want no stress. I don't want no trouble. I'm just chilling. You know what I'm saying? I'm just chilling. Let's see what we got. Ooh, use your time well. Okay. Use your time well, honey. Use your time well. So, it's like make every moment count. I want you to wake up, love. These sheets won't comfort me. Wake up, love. I feel like there's like... That's a bad little putty cat. I just, I really feel like that's a bad little putty cat. I feel like that's a bad little putty cat. I don't know if the reason why there's heads and tails of the situation, it look like tails is winning, head is upside down. So, oop. I feel like and he I feel, <laughs> I feel like he watching you like whoever this is like baby baby is watching this bad little putty cat because you see like he just cuz look at his little don't he got the um the private eye investigated look like he just he hanging around up in the tree. Like he highly elevated all the way at the top. Like niggas can't see him. He on stealth mode. And he like, yeah, I got you, bitch. I see you. I see you out there. Mm-hmm. Go ahead and keep doing that. Yeah, you look real cute out here. Ain't that what um <laughs> ain't that what future told um Lori Harvey when he caught her out there sneaking around with um Trey Songs? It was like, yeah, I see you. You look real cute. Go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. I see you. You know what I'm saying? It's this bad little putty cat. I feel like this bad little putty cat is very secretive. Very secretive and very sneaky. Very sneaky. Very, very sneaky. And um, Aries is trying to get heads and tails of the situation. And I think Aries may be watching you because... One way or another, they gonna figure out what the fuck is going on. And and you know what? That's one thing I can say that me and my Aries, my first Aries, we love debating and um researching stuff. Like we loved like 
debating facts with each other. You know what I'm saying? And if it was something that we were talking about, we would go and pull up the proof to look it up. You know, we will pull up proof. So I feel like this person is investing their time wisely right now. I feel like there is like some deep invested research trying to find some proof about something and it's like I got you you was lying you was being sneaky you know what I'm saying I wasn't stupid let me see Ooh, let me see let me see you got the world in the reverse what's it say patch your mama what's patch your mama mean why I've seen it ain't there a movie ain't there a kid movie called patch your mama I know I ain't tripping I forgot what it was about. Oh, I forgot what Patch Mama was about. What the what what? What is Patch Mama? Is 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 Patch Mama the the design, the floor design or something? I wanna say listen, I don't listen, whatever. I ain't even about to stress my head. This is the world in a reverse. So again, I feel like someone's world is upside down. I feel like whatever progressive movement that there was going in a relationship or some type of social standings has stopped um, because we need higher elevation it's like I need to be a little bit higher up so I can see things clearly I don't know why I'm getting the hangman I feel like the hangman is going to come out somewhere because I feel like the Aries ace ask God to place me high because I want to watch this bitch it's, it's like Aries wants to watch this person I want to watch this bitch because this bitch thinks she being sneaky and when she come when she come to me because I know Todd was the one who set her up to come up me with the bullshit when this bitch come to me with the bullshit I'm going to be like Skirt! hold on bitch watch that little bitch you ain't going to uh uh you, you think you was going forward with that Oh, no, ma'am. No, ma'am, Miss Pam. We do not like green eggs and ham. Let me tell you something, sweetness. Um, The buck stops here, honey. Okay? So, I don't know what you... What, it's like someone didn't learn yet. It's like you keep having to re repeat cycles and situations with the same person, the same individual. And it's like, oh, no, I'm not going to keep going through this cycle with your ass. Oh, no, ma'am. I right, listen... I'm going to spend my time wisely. This time, I'm going to get down to the root of Tudor. I'm going to figure out, we're going to get heads and tails of the situation today. That's all I'm going to tell We're going to stop right here because if I feel like what I'm seeing ain't what I want to see, oh, you will not be going no further with me. I can guarantee you that. I guarantee that. Listen, the Four of Diamonds. The Four of Diamonds is like, listen. I want structure, I want security, I want it on a tangible level. You understand? So this is like I want I feel like I want the title. Um I want to see the title, I want to see the deed, I want to see the trust fund information. Like I want it all. I want it all and I want it now. Um like the four of diamonds is receiving a reward receiving a benefit from some type of hard work like this is like um securing your um social prominence like securing your social prominence like um wearing um an executive's hat having an executive office like executive rights um that that's what i'm kind of getting you know what i'm saying like but this is saying, oh, oysters come with us. The war was beseeched. So, and you already know what they do with the oysters. It's like they pulled them away from the carpenter and the war is tricked and manipulated these naive oysters to come with them away from the safe and security confines of their mother's home. Because... They, I, I forgot what they told the oysters. Were they telling the oysters that they were going to um, take them out for dinner? But not knowing that the oysters was the dinner or something like that. So let's clarify the four of diamonds real quick. Because it's just... Uh, uh, okay, hold on. The four of diamonds. Financial stability. Financial paperwork. Rented property. 
a license or certificate, a ticket, a bank account, a strong box, a checkbox, wallet, jewelry, an office, a desk. That's what I'm saying. It's like you having something of financial social status that it proves like this is this is my house, this is my home, this is my office, this is my property. It's like something of a tangible respect that can show that I earned this title, I earned this position, I earned this office, I earned this desk, I earned this plateau. Um I feel like someone like this 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 Aries feels like this person was trying I don't feel like they were successful all the way, but I definitely feel like this person was pulled out of the safe confines of their home and they trusted someone to go somewhere with someone only for their comfortability to be disturbed because their world is turned upside down. They keep going through repetitive cycles with someone that they feel isn't necessarily truthful and I feel like why they wanted to get with you in the first place it says follow your own good advice trust yourself you know what's what is best for you so again they're saying i want it all and i want it now so remember in this story it's like i want to say like one or two of the oysters probably wanted to stay home with their mother but they ended up following their brothers and sisters because everyone else was going or something like that maybe something was tugging at their intuition saying I don't know I don't even know the warriors and the carpenter like why would all of us leave home like someone needs to stay back with mother or something like that and I don't think that you did you know what I'm saying I don't think that you did I don't think that you did and these people were lying like the whole time like the walrus could be lying to you and these people saying oh yeah I'm gonna give you we're gonna take you out to dinner you're gonna um trust me when you go back to your mother you're gonna go back to your mother it's safe and 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 you're gonna have food to take to her like we're gonna like it's like someone was giving you some type of false promise of some type of advancement or something you know what I'm saying and Deep in your soul, you just like, uh-uh, let me ask Father God, because I just, I don't trust this. I feel like I'm being finagled. I feel like I'm being swindled, and I want to make good and great value of my time, because I don't, I don't think you might have been through something like this before, you know what I'm saying? And you may give people advice to pay attention and do your research on people before you just be going somewhere and just trusting people, and now it may be time for you to take your own good advice. Um, what is this? The Knight of Wands in the reverse. So, like, the Knight of Wands in the reverse is, like, someone that isn't, uh, they may look athletic, they may look, um, very attractive, they may seem like a go-getter and may have a gift of gap, but truly, like, the King of Wands in reverse is someone that is good at manipulating other people of how to do their biddings. Like, they really don't have any intentions of going out there and getting the job done and stuff like that. Like, the the, 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 the king of wands in the verse is like a pimp. You know what I'm saying? Like, my gift is getting other people to do shit that I don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? So, um... <clears throat> this is someone that doesn't have the tenacity, that doesn't have the balance, that doesn't even necessarily have the freedom i don't know why when i think of wands in the reverse i feel like this is someone that is in and out of prison someone that is in and out of people's life that has no structures um or confines and because they have no structures or confines and they don't structure themselves and they don't try to like confine themselves to a specific way of being it's like they're not good or bad great or evil they could be all of it in a mashup all in the same day like I might spend 40 on my 10% being good 60 being evil to try do this and that it's just like you can't get 
heads or tails of this person. Do you understand? Like, this is not a person to be trusted. You know what I'm saying? This is not someone to spend your value, time, and attention with. This is someone that's a cheapskate, that's a liar, someone that's a manipulator, someone that will sell you a whole bunch of false promises and give you nothing. Do you understand? So, again, using and following your own good advice, I feel like you have said to yourself on multiple occasions, like, I don't trust this person. You know what I'm saying? I need to seek a higher vantage point so I can really see and understand. Because this person may think that they're trying to pull something up on me. They're offering me something and they're going to try to ditch me or just try to manipulate and use me to further their advancement. They're not really trying to help me and my family. You know what I'm saying? You need to take your advice and not necessarily what other people are saying to you because you is something in your bones that you don't trust this individual and you're watching this individual. What is this? The temperance in the reverse. The moon in the reverse. Again, something is being exposed. What is this? The two of swords in the reverse. So again, look, and there go the warriors and that goddamn carpenter. And what are they doing? They're leading the goddamn, uh, they're leading the oysters to, to take them to go get eaten. So again, it's like you, something in your system, you felt off balance, you felt left, lack of faith, you were untrusting of this. It was like something was eating at you. It's just like, I don't know if my time is best well spent here because I don't trust that cat. I don't, it's, it's like you did not trust. Have you ever been around people and it sounds good, but it's something deep in your stomach. It's like, mm -mm. I get this sick, eerie feeling like these people are telling me lies or I, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, I feel like going against your better judgment, but still, it's like your spirit keep urging you, like, don't move forward, don't move, because I'm serious, like, the world in the reverse, like I said to me, that's like your whole life being turned upside down, because you allowed these individuals to come and get in the way, you know what I'm saying, like, you were moving forward, y'all had a great advance in life, but because you trusted, I don't know, now I'm, it's like, I don't know if this is a get rich quick scene, like some susu something or something, because it's like you and a couple of other people that they're pulling into this con to manipulate people, having them think that there's some type of forward financial advancement in their life is you and a whole bunch of people. You understand what I'm saying? It's like the walrus is collecting one group. The carpenter is collecting one group and all of y'all thinking, all of y'all following thinking that, you know, y'all are going to find some type of success and finances. And, and it's not the truth. But they go to cat again. But this is the two of swords in the reverse. So, again, I don't feel like you're struggling with any type of indecision. You know within your gut. You don't trust these people. Look at the fucking moon. Look at the moon. It's eating you from the bottom up. Do you understand what I'm saying? Look. The moon in the reverse is something being exposed about these people. Like I said, you ask God, can I get a little bit higher up? Can, can I sit up here real quick? Tell these people that I've gone away for a little bit. I want them to think that I'm gone. I want them to think because it's something about the sloth's face. Because these people just think that you're moving slow, that you don't move as fast as the rest of the group. No, I'm moving slow with the purpose because, like, they think I'm just lagging. I'm trying to turn it back around. It's, it's, uh, you, mm -mm. it's like, I see you, bitch. I see you. And I got my eye on you. I got my, I told you, I don't, I ain't trust that cat. I didn't trust that cat. I didn't trust that cat. And I don't trust that walrus. And I don't trust. We already seen how shit ends with the oysters. Let me see. We got the queen of hearts in the reverse. And we got the white sage in the reverse. So, ooh. I don't even.
even think that you got time to say off. What the hell was that? I don't even think, because this is the white sage in the reverse. I don't even think that you got time to say off with their heads before shit got to pop it. Because, like, this is when shit takes a turn for the war for the worse. Like, and the only reason why I'm saying that is because the five of swords is when things can get physically violent and go very, very, very wrong. You know, because... You can't just be playing with people like this. And I feel like this is something that they felt was going to affect their family and other people. Because it's like, you you like, you like were about to do something to affect my family and you got other people in tow and this shit too. And you see this queen is saying off with their heads. You see what I'm saying? So I don't even think that these people even got a chance to like call for protection before shit got ugly like shit got ugly because white sage is what you use to protect your home and to protect your energy so i don't even think that you got a chance to protect yourself before shit just start going left and shit just start going haywire nature's communication what is this the page of pentacles in the reverse so again it says Flower energies, fairy energies, elemental messengers. So, and this is the page of pentacles in the reverse. So, again, I really do feel like you guys very much so had a natural sense of what you thought was going on. I just think that you didn't have any proof. Once you finally got up there to see what you needed to see you realize oh no like i'm in danger like i'm I, these my family's in danger these people are in danger like these two individuals being us know well like they were lying to us the whole time they were manipulating us trying to i feel like trying to swindle someone out of their coin and out of their it's like I, it's like i see hope in her eyes I see wisdom in her eyes. I see gifts. I see a lot of beauty and a lot of substance there. I feel like there's a lot of natural beauty and a lot of natural blessings that comes to somebody here. These are natural gifts that come to you. It's like people will literally select and pick you out of the group because you're the special one. You know what I'm saying? Like, they feel like they can get more out of you than the rest. So I don't know why I feel like someone picked you as the favorite. Like, they wanted you to come to the front of the group. But you were like, no, like, I need to go check on my mother. Or I need to go do something. And it's like... They felt like you were going back for protection. It's like, no, 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 no. You can't go back to your mother. I, I, I need. It's like, ooh, because this, this, ooh. It's like they would not let you. They knew you were ever going to go back for protection. Because, you know, if Big Mama was, Big Mama's going to call the police. She's going to like off with their heads like you know what i'm saying big mama is going to protect you but big mama was not around because what with the queen of hearts in reverse it's like there was nowhere there was no one there to aid and protect and to guide you you know what i'm saying like you had to kind of go on your natural sense like your earthly sense and it's like i don't think that this page this page of pentacles this page is like it's someone young someone naive someone that necessarily isn't highly educated enough to know to use the white sage to protect them from bad people and things like that it's like i feel like your intuition was calling to you and that's why you asked god to put you up so that you could be able to see things but still it I feel like things, I want to say you got too far away from the mother for you to turn back. Like you got too far away to turn back. And then once you all, once you realized where you were, it was just like, I did all of this for nothing. Like 
we came all the way out here for nothing. I spent all this time for nothing. All of, all of the bread, all of the resources is spilled on the floor. Like nothing came to me. Like I ended up getting rejected. I didn't end up getting a job. I didn't end up getting nothing. Like you may be stranded. Um, like, you know what I'm saying? With like no way to get back home. And they said you could have lost a few friends too. Cause it's like I feel like someone don't got got don't got no money to get home. They said that friends abandoned me. Like what the fuck? It's they're like they're not coming all the way over there to get you. Like your friends is like not coming all the way over there to get you. So it's like you could be mad at your friends right now because it's like you too far gone and too far off to to get help. I don't know if this is making any fucking sense. You got the Queen of Swords. You got the Hierophant in the reverse. It can, and, and, and then you got the Two of Cups. So. So again, I feel like this Queen of Swords, like this is still even like. The female in the situation or the mother or whatever. It's like. You. It's like you went your own way. You know like. I try to give you structure. I try to give you knowledge. I try to give you wisdom. It's like you wanted to trust these people. That I'm. You know you should. You should have had enough common sense. To know not to trust strangers. You know what I'm saying like. I've taught you better. I taught you and your sisters and your brothers better. But y'all are old enough. Y'all have to find your own way and make your own mistakes. You know what I'm saying? It's like I love you. But if you want to move ahead and, and think you know what's best for you. And search for ever love, partnership, camaraderie or something like you know, it's like trying to find something away from home. It's like you're trying to break away from me and search for what you think is best for you. I understand that, but don't come run back to me. Make sure that you use your time well. Make sure that you know what you're doing. Because once you step outside of my home, I can't protect you. Do you understand what I'm saying? So if you go get yourself mixed up with other people, I'm not going to come running after you. You understand what I'm saying? So you need to make sure that you're following your, your advice. You need to make sure that the people that are around you are people that really mean you well. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't... Like, once you and your brothers and your sisters, y'all leave... I can't, I don't know what you want me to do. Catch your mama. I feel like. Is this, is this someone's mother? It's like, I feel like their whole world has been turned upside down ever since their kids left the home. But at the same time, you can't keep going around and around and around in circles trying to help your children make life decisions for themselves. You know what I'm saying? It's like they got to learn on their own. They got to go through these cycles. They have to experience the world for themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, I try to tell them. I try to teach them. And like I said, they're going to learn on their own. Sometimes you got to fall on your face and you got to be manipulative manipulated by people um for you to learn how to take your own advice and to trust your own intuitions when you knew it's something it's like something in whoever this was told them not to trust their friend not to trust their friend and to listen to their family and to stay home and you didn't. Like you should have you should have took your own advice. It's like because the king of the king of wands is someone that moves too fast without thinking. It's like you move too fast without thinking. It just looked good and it sounded good, but you really didn't do any investigation. You know what I'm saying? Like you could have thought because of the way that they 
explain the situation to you. Oh no, like I got a partner, me and my business partner, we work together and there's other people that's going to be working with you too in this organization. We don't really work in the regular structured way that you see typical organizations work. You know what I'm saying? Like me and my partner here, you know what I'm saying? We, you know, we got each other's back. We hold each other down thick and thin and stuff like that. We may not do things the traditional way here, but trust me, you'll love it. You'll get it. You, 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 you're fitting fine. You're fitting real fine or whatever. But, you know, it's just not the standard rules here. <laughs> and your mother told you, like, listen, if it ain't, I know you may think, you know, the old tradition is boring and stuff like that, but it's old tradition for a reason. For reason, not a season. Oh, the old way work. You know what I'm saying? Y'all be trying to come up with this new susu scheming thing. Like, no, your mother's like, no, cut that shit out. Because at the end of the day, use your time wisely. You listen to this scheme, to this thing. How much money did you get out of it? How much did you put in versus how much you got out of it? Naturally, it just didn't make sense. So why in the hell would you not listen <laughs> to nature's communication telling you to don't do this shit you know what i'm saying and i'm not about to call the authorities for you i'm not you know no 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 you gotta fight your own battles you gotta fight your own battles you know what I'm saying you didn't you didn't protect yourself going into this so I, i'm I, I don't know what to tell you i don't know what to tell you i really don't i really Give me further clarification in this because I feel like if someone is. <sighs> I feel like this is someone that got caught up in like some type of pyramid scheme or something. But I don't think like this no little bit of money. Like this was someone's fucking investment. Like this was this was. This was someone's financial security. You know what I'm saying? Like this this is someone's financial security that was played with here. And you should have took your own advice when you felt from the beginning like Ooh. What is this? Is this the This is the Knight of Wands. So be courageous, be courageous and just continue to move forward with yourself. Um what is this? The Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. I feel like you definitely failed in some type of business um, interaction that you were having with you. I mean, I feel like you 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 got scammed. You know what I'm saying? But you got to keep going. You got to keep going and just going forward. Just like don't even communicate with these type of people like this. Which is the Eight of Wands. You need to set up a barrier. And also, I mean... It probably wouldn't hurt for you to put the message out there to other people that you really care about. Like, listen, don't communicate. If you see the walrus and the carpenter and they're trying to talk you into some type of business interaction with them and they're showing you all of these other people and they are going to have a whole bunch of people that are doing this with them, but they're all getting scammed as well. Like, don't try. It's not going to it's not going to be a balanced situation. This person has no loyalty to nobody you know what i'm saying like they're all out to fuck people world up you see what i'm saying because these people just tricked me tricked a couple of my family members and a few of my colleagues out of our life savings like that's that's what i'm getting that's what i'm getting I feel the, from jump I feel like from jump, you were seeing signs. And that's why I feel like you played the back end a little bit. I don't want to say that you could have you got fucked up way more deeper than these other people. Because I'm trying to tell you, they were trying to put you in the front. Because it's like, they picked you out as the favorite too. It's just like, I don't know if it's your eyes or something. It's like, they just, they got an eye for you. For some reason. You couldn't commit yourself to it though. This wasn't your typical. And again like. I don't know why. It's for, for whatever reason. The lover's card in this deck. It just throw me off. Because it's two dudes. But it's just like. I don't. 
I can't commit to this lifestyle or this group or whatever because y'all be too out the box and you and your little colleague, you and your best friend be scamming like shit and I can't, like I can't. It was not a good, it was not a good spending of your time. Just continue to move forward. You're going to have to start over. You're going to have to start over. I feel like this is someone that's going to have to rebuild their savings again. And shit, might need to start their career over again. Like, fuck. Just like completely rebuilding. Like, not starting your career over, but it's like... That might have been money that you needed to start a business or to do something or create something. And you just got to start all over from scratch again. And just create barriers. And it's just like a lesson learned. It's just a lesson learned. That's the only thing I can say, y'all. I'm so sorry about this, but... Um, I want to say things could possibly get physical. Things could get physical with that white sage right there because I feel like you didn't protect your assets. And then the person that you normally call to for protection and to get to help you, this person ain't helping you. So it's like you got to fight your own battle, my nigga. It's like you got to take that loss and you got to fight your own battle. Because it's like you wanted to do this. You wanted to get involved with these people. So, it just is what it is. Listen, Aries, this has been your reading. I love you. Watch your money. Watch these foes. Watch these hoes. Peace.